women, mostly at the receiving end of gender-based violence. It's for this reason there are ongoing calls for society to be more educated about the dangers of patriarchal society. It's precisely because of the patriarchy. If, if you look at, I mean, coming to that point, I was reflecting on my own. There are so many campaigns which go on in this country which men support. They even put resources. But in this campaign, how many men have come forward mm. to pledge themselves? Mm. Huge or big men, popular, famous, mm. Mm. call them. Mm. Why are they not supporting this? It's precisely because of the patriarchal society, but it's also because it hurts. Mm. It's so close to their comfort, they are unable to deal with it. There is also concern about the role of media in perpetuating stereotypes about women. As um, a media professional, my concern is always how women are portrayed in the media and what kind of training and skills upliftment do we have in order to ensure that we help women, particularly as we look as we're moving towards the local elections and we know the kind of spec that's going to start. Um, I also want to know whether women are trained and equipped for social media. I think these are the issues that we need to raise. I think we have a challenge generally in the media space. Not only in South Africa, it's a global problem which we have to address. How women are perceived, but also how media continues to undermine women. Even successful women are always being bashed by the media. The breakfast meeting comes amid 16 days of no violence against women and children campaign. The aim is to end the abuse of women and children and strive for an equal society free of violence. Lutando Masana, SABC News, Johannesburg. South Africa's